Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Church. It's such a joy to share God's word with us this morning. God is good and his grace is sufficient for us. We've been studying about the blood covenant for the last few weeks and last week we meditated from the gospel of John chapter 14. And the gospel of John chapter 14 to chapter 17 are also known as the farewell discourse given by Jesus Christ to his disciples immediately after the last supper and in chapter 14 Jesus is preparing uh, the disciples for what lies ahead of them that he will be crucified that he will be taken away and how he promises the Holy Spirit a time will come when the disciples will be scattered the situation not favorable to them they will try to fix things but uh, they will ultimately fail they were not able to express their emotions fear and anxiety were writ large on their faces as Jesus was telling them about his uh, suffering and how he has to be crucified and uh, uh, face a lot of things from the uh, Roman officials into this setting Jesus is asking the disciples to have a heart to trust. In this chaotic situation, Jesus is comforting them saying, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in me. Believe in the Father. And he says, he also reiterates that he is the way to the Father and how he promises the Holy Spirit. He calls them to have a heart to trust. And he reassures them that he is their comforter. He is the way maker and he is the peace giver. With this we will move to chapter 15. And I want to draw our attention to one word from chapter 15 that I've picked up. The word remain. The word remain we are going to focus this morning. What does remain means? Remain means to continue to exist. To stay in a place that one has been occupying. To possess a particular quality. To fulfill a particular role. Remain simply means to continue to persist, to continue to stay on, to continue to hold ground. And it also means that not to be passive, but to be active. And in chapter 15, Jesus talks about he being the wine and the father, the gardener. Verse 4 says like this, remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch that bear fruits by itself. It must remain in the wine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. And verse 5 says, I am the wine and you are the branch. If you remain in me and I remain in you, you will bear much fruit and apart from me, you can do nothing. The purpose of the branch is to bear fruit and God longs that, that we live our lives on this earth in a very meaningful way, in a very fruitful way, in a very purposeful way. That is what God intends for us to live on this earth. He looks upon us with a twofold desire. What can God do for me and what can God do through me? I believe God wants to do great and mighty things in us and through us, provided if you remain in me and I remain in you, God says, you will bear much fruit. You will move and overcome mountains if you remain in me. If you remain in me, you will thrive in difficult situations. God says, if you remain in me, you will be more than conquerors. If you remain in me, you will be a difference maker. If you remain in me, you will be a standout person and not following the tide the world is moving towards. God is calling us to remain in him and he will remain in us. But apart from me, God says, you can do nothing. This is the best time to realize that. Maybe you thought that you can run your life by yourself. You thought that you knew everything. You thought that you can run the affairs of your family by your own strengths and by your own ability. Maybe you thought that you were self-sufficient. Maybe you thought that you can do things on your own and God was gradually decreasing in your life. Maybe pleasure and prosperity pulled you away from God and tricked you into believing that you can do things on your own self. But now pain and panic has pulled you towards God once again. And God says, without me, you can do nothing. Verse 7 says, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. 
verse 8. This is at my father's glory that you may bear fruit. God says, remain in me and I will remain in you. If you remain in me and I remain in you, you will bear fruit. <clears throat> much fruit and if you remain in me and my words remain in you God is saying ask whatever you wish and it will be done because of the fellowship that we share between us and God because of the communion that we share and enjoy with God God is saying if you remain in me in such a relationship ask anything to my father and it will be done for the glory of my father and he's telling us or he's pleading with us to remain in his fellowship. And apart from him, we can do nothing. Number one, remain in my fellowship. Number two, God calls us to remain in his love. Verse 9 says, As the Father has loved me, so I loved you. Remain in my love. What a blessing to hear these words from our master's mouth. Such an assurance that Jesus loves you with the same measure the father loves him. Look at the words that he says. As the father has loved me, so I have loved you. Therefore, remain in my love. In the high priestly prayer in John chapter 17, this is what Jesus prays. He says this. That all of them may be one Father, just as you and I are one. That they may also be in us. Look at the uh, intensity with which Jesus prays. He said, as you and I are one, let them also be in us. He is longing for such love. He is longing for such unity. Such is the desire for God for us. In Romans chapter 8, we read in verse 17, now we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. You know, the father loves us with the same measure that he loves his son, Jesus Christ. And the father calls us to remain in his love. He calls us to be steadfast. He calls us to be immovable. If you say, if he says, if you remain in my love, you will keep my commandments. If you remain in my love, you will keep my commandments. You will display my character. You will please and glorify me in every area of your life. You will display every area of your life. You will display the characters of God in everything that you do. And your pursuit in your everyday life will always be to please and satisfy and glorify God because you are remaining in his love. And in Romans chapter 8, verse 35, we see how Paul clearly depicts the love of God and the love of his people. Verse 35, it says, What can separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness, danger or peril? Verse 37, it says, no, no, in all of these, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And verse 38, Paul goes on to say, for I am convinced that neither death, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, neither heights, nor depths, nothing else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. What an assurance for us this morning that God is calling us to continue to remain in his love. And when we continue to remain in his love, nothing will separate us from the love of God. God that is in Christ Jesus. The situation that you're going through, the difficulty that you're going through, the hopeless condition that you're going through, your hunger or nakedness or peril or dangers, angels or demons, nothing in this world will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus when we continue to remain in Jesus Christ. And God calls us to remain in his love. Number one, he says, remain in my fellowship. Number two, he calls us to remain in his love. Number three, he calls us to remain in his plan. Verse 16 says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might bear fruit and fruit that will last. You did not choose me. I have 
chosen you. And God is calling us to remain in his love. He says, I chose you. I planned you. I purposed you. God says, I chose you and I appointed you. I have approved you. I have sealed you. I have assured you. I have honored you. I have qualified you. I have sanctified you. I have anointed you. I have kept you. I have planned you. I have planted you. And I have elevated you for a greater purpose than what you think of. I have planned you and I have appointed you to bear fruit that will last forever. I have called you so that you will bear fruit that will last forever. And God says, whatever you ask in my name, my Father will give you. When you bear fruit, when you remain in me and I be in you, you will bear much fruit. And in the process of you bearing much fruit, whatever you ask in my name, my Father will give give you. This is the assurance and blessings of remaining in him and bearing fruit that will last forever. God calls us to remain in his plan because he has great plans. He has great uh, future for us. He has a hope that he is calling us towards for us to remain in his plan. Number one, I said, God is calling us to remain in his fellowship. Number two, he's calling us to remain in his love. Number three, he's calling us to remain in his plan. God wants us to remain in him, but he also wants us to remove in us these three things. That is the next part of what I want to share. Number, the first part I said, God wants us to remain in his fellowship, to remain in his love, and to remain in his plan. He also wants us to remove in us these three things according to John chapter 15. Number one is this. Remove from the danger that limits you to the love of this world. Verse 19, it goes on to say, if you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. God wants us to remove the danger that limits you to the love of the world. Jesus said, you are in the world, but not of the world. So number one, he wants us to remove the danger that limits us to the love of this world. Number two, remove the deceit that nothing will happen to you. He says, remove from the deceit that keeps telling you nothing is going to happen to you because you are a follower of Christ. Verse 20, it says, remember what I told you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they obeyed my teachings, they will also obey you. So Jesus is telling here clearly, persecutions are part of life. Difficulties are part of life. Trouble are part of life. Therefore, I want you to remove from the deceit that is going on in your mind that once I become a follower of Christ, nothing is going to happen to me. So remove this deceit from you. Number three, remove the distortion that only you are being hated and rejected. This is a distortion that God wants us to remove it from our mind and from our thinking because verse 23 says, whoever hates me hates my father as well. If you have not done, if I have not done among them the works no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. As it is, they have seen and yet they have hated both me and my father. Jesus is saying, yes, they have seen me, what I do, but they still hate me and my father. Therefore, remove this distortion from you that it is only you who are being hated and rejected. We are going through rejection. Maybe you're going through persecution. Maybe you're going through difficulty. But may I ask you this morning to continue to remain in him. Continue to remain in his fellowship. Continue to remain in his love. Continue to remain in his plan. No matter where you are in life today, no matter what situation you are going through, no matter how gross the situation is, no matter how darkness 
seems to be too big for you to handle. Uncertainty seems too big for you to handle. Difficulties in life seems too big for you to handle. God is reminding you this morning. God is coming at your doorstep and, and pleading to you, saying, remain in me. Remain in my fellowship. Remain in my love and remain in my plan for I will take you through. I will move you forward. I will hold your hand. I will move you towards your destiny. I have great things in store for you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid looking at the situation that is going around you. Remain in my fellowship. Remain in my love and remain in my plan. The benefits of remaining in him is this. He will give you or he will promise you a fruitful life, a fulfilling life, and a joyful life. Provided you and I continue to remain in his fellowship, continue to remain in his love, and continue to remain in his plan. God has great things in store for us. God bless you. Let these words bless your hearts this morning. Oh, 
உனக்காக வாழும் உணர்வினை உருவாக்கும் அவனமாகிறது <laughs> but every individual we have our own situations in life nammude ovvoru varukkum thanipatta nabargal nam ovvoru varukkum ipidipatta soonalaigal kaanapadigindrathu some of us may have a question will i come out of this situation silarude kelvi kuriyaga kaanapadigirathu indha prachnaigal irundhu indha soonalaigal irundhu naan veliye varava mudiyumo endru solli your personal problems nammude thanipatta prachnaigal sicknesses vyadhigal personal depressions thanipatta adavadhu naan enna seivendum endra sorvana karyangal financial struggles pana reethiyaga varugindra kashtangal relationship adavadhu uravugal uravugal in so many there are so many situations we are facing ipidiyaga nam anega soolnilaigalile nam sendru kondirukkindro will i come out of it in the prachnaigal irundha indha soolnil irundha naan veliye varamudiyuma endru nam i tell you i have been through so many situations also ipdi patta soolnilil naanum kuda sendru kondirukrom in life there are so many struggles that we have come across and i have come across nammudey vaalkaiyila kuda ipdi patta prachnaigal illa ipdi patta soolnilil naam idai kadandu vandu kondirukindrom but today i could say that every hurdle has brought us brought me up brought me out as a victor because of Christ Jesus anal yesu christan moolamaga ella thadigalaiyum thaandi oru vetriyulla oru maganaga munneri sellathakkaga andur kripi kodutha kathrai stotrikku so don't worry what you are going through we have our lord jesus christ who will never leave us in the situation all through our life he will help us he will come out of our situations that we are in அதனால் நீங்கள் யாரும் கலங்க வேண்டாம் நிச்சயமாக நம்முடைய கத்திராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவருடைய கிருமை நிமித்தம் நாம் எல்லாரும் இப்படிப்பட்ட பிரச்சனைகளிலிருந்து இப்படிப்பட்ட சூழ்நிலையிலிருந்து நாம் வெளியே நிச்சயமாக வெற்றி பெற்றவர்களாக வெளியே வருவோம் சர்ச்சஸ் கோ த்ரூ சோ மெனி ஸ்ட்ரகல்ஸ் சபை ஹிஸ்டரி சபையானது 
அநேக இப்படிப்பட்ட சூழ்நிலைகளிலே அதாவது வரலாற்றிலே நாம் அதை சென்று கொண்டிருக்கிறது அதிகாரத்திலிருந்து <laughs> trust in his presence avrude prasanathile nambikku ullargala kanapaduvom trust in his promise avrude vaakathathangalile nam nambikku ullargala kanapaduvom trust in jesus yesu person yesu will avaril nam mutthilumaga nambikku ullargala kanapaduvom see some people trust in the presence of god but they cannot accept the promises of god that's why we are not able to receive the blessings siller avrude and and avrude prasanathile nambikai ullargala kanapaduvargal anal avaril nambikai illadargalaga kanapaduvargal vaakathathil nambikai nambamaatargal some trust in the presence and in the promise but they doubt jesus christ siller avrude prasanathai nambugirargal avrude vaakathathai nambugirargal anal yesu vil avaril nambugiradillai so that's where we are sinking adanal than ipdi patta soonil irukkum bodhu than naam ubiyaga moongi vidugindro we have to trust in jesus trust in his presence trust in his promise avrudi be safe no matter what the storm is eppadi patta poyil adithalum avrudi prasannathile naam nambikkullargalaga avrudi vaakku thathangalile nambikkullargalaga avaril nambikkullargalaga nam kaanapaduvumaga so in john chapter 15 it talks about we being attached to jesus christ who is the true vine yohan 15th adhigarathile nam christuvodu kude and the meyana thraatcha sadiyodu kude nam irukrom endrai nam paarkindrom and in verse 4 it says abide in me and i in you nangam vasanam yohan 15th adhigaram nangam vasanam ennil nilaithirungal nanum ungalil nilaithirpen this is talking about the covenant that he has with us andavar nammodu kuda veithirukkira and the and the udanpadikire nam irukkiradai nam paarkka mudiyirathu god had made a blood covenant with us that we can abide in him as he abides in us andavar nammodu kuda and the rathathin udanpadikai pannugirathu nimittam nam avarilum avar nammilum nilaithirukkumbadiyaga avar kiruve seigirar so that is a unique experience to abide in christ kristuvukullaga nilaithirpadu oru periya oru angigaram petra oru kaariyamaga kanapadugirathu and this is through the through that covenant we can do in the udanpadikin moolamaga nam idai seidukolla mudiyum so i want to encourage you to abide in Christ Jesus Christu Yesuvukullaga nilaithirkumbadiyaga aandavar kiruve seivaraga do not let your mind be wandering ungaludeya manasai veru vidhamaga alasikondir iradirungal don't let any doubt seep in எந்த விதமான சந்தேகங்கள் உங்களுடைய மனதிற்குள்ளாக வர வரும்படியாக நீங்கள் ஒத்துக்கொள்ளாதீர்கள் கிறிஸ்துவுக்குள்ளாக நீங்கள் தைரியமாகிறீர்கள் be rooted in christ கிறிஸ்துவுக்குள்ளாக நிலைத்திருங்கள் the covenant relation we have with him helps us abide in him and him in us that we both become one and road kude veithirukkira and the rathathin udanpadikin moolamaga nam avaril nilaithirundu avar nammil nilaithirkumbadiyaga adukku adu kirubi kodukirathu so what happens if we abide in him na nam avaril nilaithirkumbodhu enna nadakkirathu verse 7 says if you abide in me and my words abide in you you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you ஏழாம் வசனம் நீங்கள் என்னிலும் என் வார்த்தைகள் உங்களிலும் நிலைத்திருந்தால் நீங்கள் கேட்டுக்கொள்வது எதுவோ அது உங்களுக்கு செய்யப்படும் இட் ஷேல் பி டன் அண்ட் யூ இது அது உங்களுக்காக செய்யப்படும் என்று பார்க்கிறோம் சோ ஐ என்கரேஜ் யூ டு அபைட் இன் கிறிஸ்ட் பி ஸ்டக் டு தி வைன் தி ட்ரூ வைன் தி லார்ட் ஜீசஸ் கிறிஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஆஸ்க் ஹிம் ஆஸ்க் ஹிம் வாட் யூ வாண்ட் டெல் ஹிம் வாட் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் த்ரூ அண்ட் யூ will see he brings an answer he will help you through and you will be 
victorious கிறிஸ்துவானவர் மெய்யான திராட்சை செடியா இருக்கிறது निमितம் அவரில் நாம் நிலைத்திருக்கும் பொழுது நிச்சயமாக அவரில் நாம் கனி கொடுக்க முடியும் so this is his promise இதுதான் அவருடைய வாக்கு தத்துவம் if you abide in me நீங்கள் என்ன நிலைத்திருந்தால் and if my words abide in you என்னுடைய வார்த்தைகள் வார்த்தைகளை நீங்கள் நிலைத்திருந்தால் the promises ask what you will it shall be done நீங்கள் எதை கேட்டாலும் அதை கொடுப்பேன் என்று அவர் வாக்களிக்கிறார் ask what you will what an assurance we have எப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு ஒரு வாக்கு தத்துவத்தை அவர் கொடுத்திருக்கிறார் பாருங்கள் ask what you will நீங்கள் உங்களுக்கு என்ன தேவையோ so this morning i want to encourage you to abide in christ and ask him in the key will fulfill the desires of your heart in the kaala velale ungale irudhayathin vaanchagale aandavarathil kelungal nichchamaga neengal aandavargal nilaithirukkum bodhu andarkku etra badhilgale aandavar kodupar he will help you avar ungalku nichchamaga udavi seivar he will minister to you avar ungalidathil pesuvar he will send his angels to assist you avar thammudey doodargalukku katlettu ungale ungalku udavi seivargal you will be a overcomer நீங்கள் நிச்சயமாக நாம் எல்லாரும் நாம் வெற்றி உள்ளவர்களாக காணப்படுவோம் நோ மேட்டர் வாட் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் த்ரூ எப்படிப்பட்ட சூழ்நிலையில் நாம் சென்றாலும் கூட தி லார்ட் will help you நாம் ஜெயம் கொள்ளுகிறவர்களாக நிச்சயமாக ஆண்டவர் நமக்கு உதவி செய்வார் let me pray for you உங்களுக்காக நான் ஜெபிக்கிறேன் father we thank you lord for this wonderful service ஆண்டவர் இந்த நல்ல சர்வீஸ்காக நான் நம்மை நன்றி தெரிவிக்க you are the true vine and we are the branches and you are pruning us that we can bear more fruits and i thank you for that lord neer meyana thraatchu sadi naangal edudey kodigalaga kaanapadigirom nichchamaga engalukkulla kaaryangal ellavathum vendada kaaryangal ellavathum vetti vittu nalla kanigalai kodukumbadiyaga aandur kiruve kodukire nandri you are going through a season of pruning and you are defining us to get close to you lord appa engalukku engalukkulla irukkira vendada kaaryangal ellavathum vetti maatri vittu engalukkulla nalla kaaryangalai neer kodukira padiyala namakku nandri kala seluthukkirum raja be with your children உம்முடைய பிள்ளைகளோடு கூட நீ இருக்கிறார் Jesus name I pray ஏசுவின் நாமத்தில் கேட்கும் பிதா ஆமென் ஆமென் and now may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of the father and the communion and the comfort of the holy spirit rest and abide upon each of us now and forever more amen church uh, we are free to worship in one roof but we are still holding on and unless we get a proper direction we don't want to start our services even next week we are going to have online service be prepared get close to the lord and uh, understand the environment and uh, understand uh, the condition that we are going through that we will not be entrapped in any situation but we will soon gather and worship in one accord in one roof till then we will continue with this online service god bless you